Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make that cow there that you just saw on the mannequin. Now those two pictures are both the same cow. They were just folded in a different way. So the first one is just like that. Doubled up, folded. And then if you want it to go over your head, all it was was you just take uh, this, take a piece from the back and pull it up over your top of your head. So it's really easy. Um, it's made back and forth and then it's seamed together here at the end. But that's it. It's actually really easy to do. It's just a one row repeat. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project, I am using a Red Heart Unforgettable, which is a 100% acrylic medium four weight yarn. You don't have to use this yarn. Any medium four-weight yarn will work. The collar I am using is called Heirloom. And there are 270 yards in this ball. And I used the whole entire thing. So this is just, I just used it until I ran out. So this is a one ball project. Um, so 270 yards is what you'll need. And then I'm going to be using a size, oh, wrong one. J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I just want to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel. It's uh, it's free to subscribe. All the videos on my YouTube channel are free. It never cut. It always has been free, and it always will be free. It's never no money to watch my channel. If you look in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little red subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll automatically be subscribed, and then you'll you know you'll get um, access. To, to all my new videos when I put them on and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook this stitch is done in a multiple of four in case you want to make yours bigger or smaller or use this stitch for something else but for me I'm going to start off with a chain of 36 All right, I got my chain of 36 made. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to do a triple crochet in the sixth chain from the hook. And remember, we do not count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, three, four, five. In the sixth one, we're gonna do a triple crochet. Gonna go back in and do another triple crochet into the same stitch. And then chain two, and we're going to go back into the same stitch and work a double crochet. So we are going to call that stitch that we just did a shell. So we did the shell is two triples, chain two, and a double, all into the same stitch. Now we're going to skip three stitches, and we're going to work a shell into the next. So we're going to skip, 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 and in the next one, yarn over twice, and we'll work two triples. chain two and a double into the same stitch and that's what we're going to repeat all the way across so we're going to skip three again skip 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 and in the next one we're going to work our shell so we're going to work two triples one two, chain two, and then a double into the same stitch. Like that. Repeat it again. Skip three. Skip, skip, skip. And shell into the next. So two triples. Chain two and a double. Now I'm gonna repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row. Skip three and then do our shell. Skip three and do our shell. 
Okay, I've come to the end of row one and you should have two stitches that remain. Go ahead and skip one stitch and triple crochet into the last stitch. And that'll end row one and then you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the shells. That's what you should have. Row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to double crochet right back into this very first stitch. Like that. And now this chain two space here, we're going to work a shell right into it. So we're going to work right through the space, two triples. Chain two and two and then uh, one double. Just like that. Now we're going to jump to the next chain two space right here and work a shell into it. So we're going to yarn over twice and we're going to go in and work two triples. Chain two and go back in and work one double. And that's what we're going to repeat for row two. We're just working a shell in each one of these chain two spaces from the previous shell. So we're going to yarn over twice, go into the next space here, and we're going to work two triples. It's one, two, and then we're going to chain two, go back in and work a double. And that's our shell. And now I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row. Jump here to my next chain two space and work my shell, my two triples, chain two, and a double. Just like that. That's what it starts to look like. Okay, I'm coming to the end of a row two and how we're going to end it is I just did my last shell there in my chain two space. This uh, chain over here from the very beginning, remember we uh, started by working a triple crochet in the sixth stitch from the hook. So that left five chains. Go ahead and end by triple crocheting in the fourth chain. So one, two, three, four. Triple crochet into that fourth chain there. Like that. And you still should have eight of the shells. Okay, row three is the repeat row for the rest of the pattern. We chain one and turn. And then we double crochet right back into that same stitch. And it's actually very similar to row two. We're going to put a shell right here into this first chain two space. So we work our two triples. Chain two. And then a double. Jump to the next chain two space and work a shell. So we work our two triples. chain two and a double. So it's the kind of what we just did on the previous row. We're working a shell in the chain two space of every shell. The only difference is the way we end it. So two triples into the next chain two space. Chain two and a double. Just like that. Next one. Two triples, chain two, and a double. So I'm going to repeat this until I get to the end of the row. All right, I've made it to the end of row three. You'll still have your eight shells one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the only difference is 
from the previous row is the way we end it. We're just going to do a triple crochet into our very, this very last double crochet here. And that's how we end every row. So now it's just a repeat of row three, what we just did. So we chain one and turn, and we start with a double crochet. Every row starts with a double. And then you shell in each one of these chain two spaces. And every row ends with a triple into the last stitch. You'll always have eight shells every row. So we're just going to keep doing this until we get it as long as we need it to be. All right. I have finished all my skein yarn except for I left a little bit here to sew it together. So I actually did a total of 55 rows. You can do more if you want or you can do less. It's up to you. But I just did it till I just had a little bit of yarn left out of my... Um, out of my out of my bowl of yarn that way I could sew it together so what I'm gonna do is kind of just flip it together yeah like this fold it in half and then I'm gonna slip stitch the ends together both sides are probably gonna look the same to you since we're working in rows but I didn't tie off what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to go through this first stitch you can chain one and turn, chain one if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and go through that first stitch. And then I'm going to go through the top of this first stitch here, or this chain here. And I'm going to slip stitch. Now I'm going to go across and I'm going to try to match up the stitches, slip stitching it together. Now if you want to use a um, yarn needle and a piece of yarn, and sew it together that's fine too either way as long as it gets sewed up as best as you can get it you know just try to get the slip stitches as even as possible or if you're using a yarn needle and a piece of yarn um, just try to get them get it sewed up evenly across as you can And if you use a yarn needle and instead of slip stitching, it's no different. I mean, it's not going to change how it looks or anything. So either way is fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish getting this sewed up here at the end so it can be an infinity scarf. Now, if you want it to be a regular scarf, you don't have to do this. And you can make it as long as you want. So, I mean, you can just keep going, add another row or another ball of yarn and make it super long and don't even slip stitch it together just make it a nice long scarf that would be really pretty too but I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished up here sewing it up okay I got it slip stitch all the way to the end and I'm just going to tie it off and hide these tails but then that will be it I'll probably go ahead and flip this slip where the slip stitch is on the um, inside like this so that would be the outside the seam that's it. That's all there is to it. Once you get those tails hidden, I think it turned out really nice. Go ahead and hide a couple of these tails, I guess. But yeah, I think it turned out good. I really love Unforgettable. It's my favorite yarn. But if you didn't use that, I bet this turned out pretty and no matter what yarn you used. So, um, if you make this, or if you make anything else... I'd really love to see a picture of it. I'll post a picture. You could post a picture of uh, on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box if you want to join and show me your work. And if you have any questions or anything, you can always ask me on there. Um, also, uh, like I said, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to subscribe. And you don't want to miss out any of uh, my tutorials. If you look up in the left hand, top left hand corner of the screen right now, you'll see a picture of my my face if you just click on that you will automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my updates and until next time have a good day